can put one on now. So I think we should put one with you. Sir. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, Amen. You expired, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fount of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself upon us. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us... And lead us not to the temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for the sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, for the sake of his sorrowful passion. 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 Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, For the sake of his sorrowful passion. 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 Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. 
the atonement for our sins and those of the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion 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 eternal father i offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved son our lord jesus christ in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion 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 eternal father we offer you the body and blood so for, for the sake of his sorrowful passion for the sake of his sorrowful passion eternal father i offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved son our lord jesus christ in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion 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 holy god holy mighty one holy immortal one have mercy on us and on the whole world holy god holy mighty one holy immortal one have mercy on us and on the whole world holy god holy mighty one holy immortal one have mercy on us and on the whole world i trust in you divine mercy chaplet divine mercy gushing forth from the bosom of the father divine mercy greatest attribute of god divine mercy incomprehensible mystery divine mercy fountain gushing forth from the mystery of most blessed trinity divine mercy unfathomed by any intellect human or angelic divine mercy from which wells forth all life and happiness divine mercy better than the heavens divine mercy source of miracles and wonders divine mercy encompassing the whole universe divine mercy descending to earth in the person of the incarnate word divine mercy which flowed out from the open wound of the heart of jesus 
divine mercy enclosed in the heart of Jesus for us and especially for sinners. Divine mercy unfathomed in the institution of the sacred heart. Divine mercy in the founding of the Holy Church. Divine mercy in the sacrament of the Holy Baptism. Divine mercy in our justification through Jesus Christ. Divine mercy accompanying us through our whole life. Divine mercy embracing us, especially at the hour of death. Divine mercy endowing us with immortal life. Divine mercy accompanying us every moment of our life. Divine mercy shielding us from the fire of hell. Divine mercy in the conversion of hardened sinners. Divine mercy astonishment for angels incomprehensible to saints. Divine mercy unfathomed in all the mysteries of God. Divine mercy lifting us out of every misery. Divine mercy source of our happiness and joy. Divine mercy in calling us forth from nothingness to existence. Divine mercy embracing all the works of his hands. Divine mercy crown of all God's handiwork. Divine mercy in which we are all immersed. Divine mercy, sweet relief for anguished hearts. Divine mercy, only hope of despairing souls. Divine mercy, repose of hearts, peace amid fear. Divine mercy, delight and ecstasy of holy souls. Divine mercy, inspiring hope against all hope. Let us pray. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the peace and communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the celebration of the Eucharist. Today we celebrate the memorial of St. Thomas Aquinas, one of the great doctors of the church who lived in the 14th century. We seek his prayers and intercession. He was a great scholar, someone who explained the faith to others. And we have great need of that in today's world where many Catholics don't understand their faith. And we pray for a lot of enlightenment in the hearts of all of us and in our minds that we may grow in understanding of our faith and God's will for us. We have no particular intention. Um, oh, sorry. We do have a, an intention this morning for Clarence Rogers, for the repose of the soul of Clarence Rogers. My dear friends, as we celebrate the Eucharist today, let us call to mind our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who made St. Thomas Aquinas outstanding in his zeal for holiness and his study of sacred doctrine, grant us, we pray, that we may understand what he taught and imitate what he accomplished. We ask this through Christ our Lord. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. My friends, since we have confidence to enter the sanctuary by the blood of Jesus, by the new and living way that he opened for us through the curtain that is through his flesh, and since we have a great priest over the house of God, let us approach with a true heart in full assurance of faith with our hearts sprinkled clean from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold fast to the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who has promised is faithful. And let us consider how to provoke one another to love and good deeds, not neglecting to meet together, as is the habit of some but encouraging one another, and all the more as you see the day approaching. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your response will be, Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. The earth is the Lord's and all that is in it, the world and those who live in it, for he has founded it on the seas, and established it on the rivers. Lord, this is the people that long to see your face. Who shall ascend the mountain of the Lord, and who shall stand in his holy place? Those who have clean hands and pure hearts, who do not lift up their souls to what is false. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. They will receive blessings from the Lord, and vindication from the God of their salvation. Such is the company of those who seek him, who seek the face of, God, of the God of Jacob. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Your word is a lamp for my feet and a light on my path. 
Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Jesus told this parable to his disciples. Is a lamp brought in to be put under a bushel basket? or under the bed, and not on the lampstand, for there is nothing hidden except to be disclosed, nor is anything secret except to come to light. Let anyone with ears to hear listen. And he said to them, pay attention to what you hear. The measure you give will be the measure you get, and still more will be given you. For to those who have, more will be given, and from those who have nothing, even what they have will be taken away. The Gospel of the Lord. As I mentioned at the start of Mass, we celebrate today the Feast of St. Thomas Aquinas, who has become one of the foundations of the Church. And um, Thomas believed in what you might call natural philosophy. Thomas believed that you can see God by observing nature. God is in the laws of, 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 of nature. And um, he, ma- he mentioned once that reason is in the, ma- the mind of God, that, that it is not unreasonable to use your brain and your mind to get closer to God. So he encourages us to study our faith, to read good books, to, um, to reflect on the meaning of the various aspects of faith. Some, some people are against the use of reason because they feel that it takes us away from God. But Thomas thinks just the opposite, that we can use our minds, our brains to understand God and to grow and deepen our faith as well. So we want to pray for that today in our church and in our personal lives as well, that all of us will make a concerted effort to read more, to study our faith more, to reflect a bit more, on what we believe, so that we may hold on fast to these things that are dear to us. Amen. Please stand as we pray. As we thank God today for the gift of life we place in his hands, um, the life of the unborn children, we pray for a greater respect for the unborn. We pray for those who are contemplating abortion, that God may help them to change their mind. We pray to the Lord. And we thank God for the privilege of being here today. May it be an opportunity for us to place all our cares and concerns and those of others in his hands. We pray to the Lord. We thank God for those who study our faith, those who lead us. We pray for our teachers May they be examples of what they teach. We pray to the Lord. For the sick, that the healing hand of Jesus may touch them and make them whole. We pray to the Lord. And for those who have died, that Almighty God may grant them eternal life. We pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We praise you as we come before you at the start of this day. Protect us from all harm, fill us with your presence, and extend your hand of blessings to those that we love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made, may it become for us the bread of life. Lord, by the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. 
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands may it become for us our spiritual drink. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me of all my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Fill us and guide us with your presence today as we celebrate the memorial of St. Thomas Aquinas. May it inspire us to walk in your ways and do your will, we ask this through Christ, our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on that feast of St. Thomas, you bid your church rejoice, strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach us by his words of preaching and keep us safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Thomas our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, especially St. Thomas Aquinas and St. Margaret Duville. May we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 
Jesus taught us to God our Father, and so we have the courage to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us your un peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us share with each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Through Christ the teacher, O Lord, instruct those you feed with Christ the living bread, that on the feast of St. Thomas Aquinas, they may learn your truth and express it in works of charity through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended.